Good morning, Crossroads. We are so glad that you are here worshiping with us today. If this is your first time at Crossroads, we would love to meet you. So if you would, fill and tear out the Connect card that's located in your bulletin and put it in the offering plate, or you can hand it into a greeter and receive a free welcome gift from us. Crossroads is renting students from the Puerto Rico mission team to our congregation. We have a group of 25 youth going to Puerto Rico that need to meet a goal of $1,200 each. For a tax-deductible donation, you can rent a team member from April 28th through June 17th to do jobs such as babysitting, painting, moving furniture, landscaping, fingernail clippings, dog pooper scooper, holding your baby, skunk removal, spring cleaning, etc. Help us so we can help you. To inquire about a student and availability, please email youth at mycrossroads.co or go to mycrossroads.co slash youth. Come out to BB&T Stadium in Uptown Charlotte for a Knights baseball game on May 25th. We have 40 spots reserved in the picnic area of the stadium, offering an excellent view of the field, plus the added excitement of possibly catching a home run ball. The $15 ticket includes game admittance and a buffet that will feature barbecue, hot dogs, potato salad, slaw, chips, popcorn, and soft drinks. The buffet will be open from 6.05 to 8.05 p.m. First pitch is at 7.05 p.m. You can register at mycrossroads.co slash events. Crossroads family, you've been asking for it and it's coming. On Wednesday night, May 31st at 7 p.m., we're gonna have a night of worship and prayer where we'll not only seek the heart of God together through music, but we'll also experience a guided time of prayer together. We invite you to come out and join us. So if you would like more information about the events and the life of Crossroads Church, you can go to mycrossroads.co or you can download the new Crossroads Church app by going to your app store and searching Crossroads Concord. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm one of the first grade Sunday school teachers here at Crossroads. And I've been teaching the story to all of your little first graders. And I just love teaching them because I love having discussions with them and seeing how the story has impacted them and seeing how they have gone to school and talked to their friends about the Bible stories that they've learned. And it's impacted me majorly because I was that little kid who would wake up on Sundays and pretend that I was sick so I didn't have to come to church. So it's helped me to learn the Bible stories and be able to know them better so that I can teach the kids about it. Hey, my name's Lee and I was just asked to tell a story about the story. And it was uh, one morning and we were driving up to the mountains and my kids were in the back. Uh, they were doing their iPad thing like you know most kids do when you're on a long trip and um, asked them to take a break so I could read uh, the story to them. And uh, we were probably, you know, 20, 25 minutes in and I was getting all, you know, I was getting all into it and so was my wife and, you know, we were really enjoying it. And then, um, you know, the kids, I thought we're back there kind of like, okay, dad, I'm ready for some more iPad time. Um, you know, and then we, we finished up that particular chapter and I said, all right guys, you can, you can go back to your iPads. And, um, you know, I, I, was wait, I was waiting for the next step, finally. Um, but instead I got a, uh, Dad, will you please keep reading? And for me, that was just a really, really special moment that my kids were more concerned with me reading the story to them than all the technology nonsense that was in their lap. So it was pretty awesome. 